So our first guest today is Professor Knox Makunga. Uh, she's a plant scientist at Stellenbosch University who is passionate about plant life and botany. And to date, she has worked on several plant species that are indigenous to South Africa and also species from various parts of the world. She joins us today to speak about the power of healing gardens and how you at home can make your own, which is the perfect build-up to Garden Day next month. Knox, how are you, my darling? I'm really well, Jeannie. What about you? It's I'm so while. happy to have you here because I remember the first time we met which was a couple of years ago basically everything went into slow motion the violin started playing and we fell in love because <laughs> Knox is honestly one of the most interesting people I've ever met a in true my sister entire romance. life no, <laughs> full sister romance here Knox for our audience at home why don't yes. you tell us what does a plant scientist do well a plant scientist can actually do all kinds of different things yeah <laughs> and um, I particularly actually work with medicinal plants mm. And I basically study how medicinal plants can um, provide us with new chemicals and compounds that yeah. might be of benefit mm. for our health. And I particularly am also interested in how these plants um, can be used um, as you know, a whole extract, particularly yeah. for the natural products industry. Mm. So there's, there's a big boom, I think, locally and internationally to use different plant products yeah. in their rawest form. Plants are magic. Can yeah. I tell you, I've been watching these YouTube videos. Uh, they actually, plants make sounds as they grow. They are absolutely magic. So yeah. they heal in every kind of way. And the different frequencies that yeah. they kind of tuned into, which is so curious mm -hmm. to me. I mean, Knox, not a lot of people are into botany and understand how it works. Now, there are different forms of gardens that you can get, and I believe that the most powerful garden that can be has to be a healing garden. Yeah. Well, yes, I think uh, gardens as a whole are actually healing mm. in their nature. Yeah. You know, just by being amongst plants actually connects us mm. back to nature. Yeah. And you know what? We are so disconnected from nature in mm. many ways. You know, we're always on our phones, playing on our phones, but... In all honesty, um, a healing garden is a garden that actually gives you a sense of well-being. It not only is healing you in a physical way, but also in a spiritual way. Yeah. Mm. So I've got a fragrant garden at home, and when I arrive at home, it's, one, it's my favorite thing in the world <laughs> to just walk up the stairs and you get all these different kinds of smells. But why don't you tell us exactly how a healing garden works? So a healing garden... Um, has to have different elements. Yeah. I kept on talking about nature, and so you have to, if you're setting one up, you have to steal a little bit from nature. Yeah. Okay. So you have to think about earth, wind, fire, light, all those natural elements, you have to try and incorporate those into, into your garden, even including wind. And you can do this by um, having water, perhaps, yeah. maybe a little fountain, that in itself creates natural sounds, okay. which are very So the healing, healing comes from you being in the space of calm, not absolutely. actually the plants that are medicinal. There's that too. Or there's both. Because yes. I was going to yes, ask, absolutely. as a scientist, I would think that there is like specific chemical compounds that maybe these plants extract that are in your space. How does it work? No, but you know what's, something, what's so fascinating? When I had adrenal fatigue, the doctor told me that the one... Uh, cure, I suppose, for it was walking barefoot on grass. Mm -hmm. No medicine, no pills, walking barefoot on grass. Beautiful. So tell us a little bit more from a scientific point of view, oh. the healing purpose, I suppose. Well, absolutely. So um, the healing comes from being in that space mm. yeah. and being connected to nature. Um, because we ourselves are part of nature. Mm. I think we sometimes forget this. But also, Plants exude all kinds of wonderful chemicals which are able to calm us down. Mm. Um, for example, essential oils. So if you have a lot of sage in your garden and maybe um, some rosemary, helichrysum, mm. impepo in Zulu, um, all of these plants are continuously emitting fragrances and chemicals that are attracting or even repelling pollinators. Wow. And some of these chemicals within the suite of chemistry that the plant is actually emitting bind to our central nervous system, and then they actually give us that sense of calm. 
Liz. But Knox, a lot of people <clears throat> say that, you know, the older you get, you should get into gardening because if you get into gardening, <laughs> it extends your life. I mean, how true is that? I think you should get into gardening from the moment that you are able to walk and hold a spade and be able to play Amazing. with mm -hmm. the soil. Mm -hmm. Because at that very time, you actually build a very inner connection um, with the ability to garden and a, mm. a, a better appreciation mm. of gardens. Mm. Oh, I love gardens. What's your favorite thing to do in your garden? You must have such a beautiful garden. Well, I do have a, 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 a fairly nice <laughs> one. It's full of indigenous local um, plants and, and, and the reason for this is because they're mainly water resistant. Mm -hmm. But I also kind of like to have the garden look a little bit like walking on Table Mountain. So there's a lot of mm. local Cape Flora. Uh, I like that sort of rugged, rough look. Yeah. And my favorite thing to do in the garden is honestly just to enjoy it. Yeah. And especially um, with garden coming up, garden day coming up, yeah. we've been working our gardens the whole entire year. Wow. And now it's time to just enjoy them amazing Yay! that must be so satisfactory <laughs> won't you please help me i've got a balcony at home and i want to do a balcony garden on it and i want to make it a healing garden i oh, need it to have such wonderful. good energy that everybody who just yeah. comes there just feels like bursting with happiness i mean i've got an apartment <laughs> so i don't have an outdoor space but i definitely need to find a way to make an indoor yeah. garden why mm. not why why not absolutely yeah. i think there are many different ways to do container uh, gardening you could also set up a wall um, yeah, that's I'm going to set up a wall, so I need to, yes. vertical <gasps> wall, and just even little containers that are all clustered together are really quite wonderful. Okay. At the moment, I really love succulents for the home. They, they speak Always to me. Good. Especially with, with very little water. Thanks. Knox, thank you so much for being here today. I love Great. you. Keeping yes. you forever. Jeannie, wonderful to see you. Thank you so, <laughs> so much to, to both you. of you. <laughs>